what is the driving thing that is motivating you right now? Motivating me is like the freedom, the mm. freedom of being an entrepreneur. I did a test the other day, uh, one, of, one of Ty Lopez's tests, and it rates you on like mastery, um, material things, freedom, and uh, I think love or passion. And freedom, freedom actually came number one for me. Hmm. So I like to, you know, have freedom of place and, and time okay. to do what I want. So I think that that's that would be the number one thing. Yeah. Selfishly. Okay. And then number two is like actually helping people. You know, like yeah. I know, like me helping Philip. Philip has a, a son who, who has autism. Oh wow. So he's gonna have to take care of his family, his wife and his kid, for the rest of his life. Yeah. You know, he was uh, overseas in the war right and he's a veteran now <clears throat> and he came back here and he's trying to make ends meet you know oh, just wow. like everybody else yeah and so i know that you know i can make an impact on his life that's amazing you know and, and put that good karma out there and you know help someone else that's um, amazing and you know that, that that motivates me too that's amazing yeah. um shout out to you phil out there yeah. you know doing the good work because i i can imagine it can be easy you know feeling having that feeling of I have to take care of my child for the rest of my yeah, life. My so child, you like, wanna... I served my country. Yeah. Right? Came back, and now I gotta I gotta start all over again. I have to figure it out. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? And and he had he had businesses before that yeah. failed. Yeah. You know, and so you can just imagine like that's a lot, bro. Yeah. Like, that's a lot. Oh yeah. Okay. And like you're just out here doing you know you gotta like what do I do? Do I figure this out yeah. on my own? Luckily, I don't know how he ended up you know finding my company. Or what, <laughs> like, Maybe one of my 1,000 YouTube Maybe videos. Maybe you Googled it and Googled you, talked, it. Yeah. you showed up first again because of it. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, and thankfully he came to us and we actually care about people. We're not just going to sell you stuff and, yeah. you know, wish you the best. Hands off. Yeah. Like, hey, we're going to help you. But at the same time, he did the work and That's he showed critical. up. That's critical. That's critical. Right? We got 50 people in the coaching program. Only 13 people are showing up. Wow. Right? Showing up is half the battle. Yeah. Right? He showed up. He wants it. He wants to change. And he's implementing the, the information. That's amazing. And 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 he he you know, he's like he tells you all the time. He's like you know Josh, I listen to everything you say. And like when we when he does interviews and stuff like that, he's like you know Josh told me to do this and I did it. Yeah. Like it's not more harder than that. Yeah. I have my intention is to make you successful. Yeah. That's it. I have no malicious. Yeah. Intention. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, when I tell people to do stuff, they don't do it. I'm like, Dude, it's you're, on you. You're a fool. <laughs> you can you you can only give the advice. You can help people execute yeah, on exactly, things that yeah. they're responsible doing and because at the end of the day I feel like even their execution comes with its own lessons for them right so even in situations certain situations when you can actually do something for people mm -hmm. you know because I had it with my mentors where they'll be like I can do this for you but I'll rather tell you how to do it and then you go do it because yeah. in you doing it there are certain things you will learn right. about yourself in that process exactly. but I do think a lot of people when they listen to mentors or look for mentors they want people to tell them and possibly won't do it for them it's like it's 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 always been a weird concept to me and thought process to me but okay yeah, that's a good point uh, to touch more about that the other day uh, we turned on his Google Ads for him and I was like look we need to make a landing page okay so he set up uh, so when you buy a photo booth from us we give you a website uh, so we needed a separate landing page. Okay. Now this guy was in the military. He's a nurse. Like he doesn't know how to build landing pages. Yeah. Right? But I was proud of I was proud of him because he actually went and he figured it out on his own. Oh wow. And so he okay. built a simple landing page which we needed. I told him exactly. Look, I sent him a link. I went on Google. I said uh, top fifty landing pages. I found a link from HubSpot. <laughs> I sent that to him. Like that's what. And that's I was what like, would look like. What, yeah. This yeah. is what we need, bro. Like get started on it. And he did it. And then the next time we had a call. We saved now two hours of work back and forth that yeah. could have been wasted. And now mm -hmm. we actually, okay, cool. We tweaked a few things. Boom. We turned on the ads. Like he's getting a 5X return now. Wow. For every $1 he puts in, he's getting $5 back now. That's amazing. Right? And so it's working. And, and he, instead of him just, oh, I don't know. I can't figure it out. It's too hard. Yeah. Nothing's really hard yeah. anymore, bro. Yeah. In 2006, it was hard. It was. When I <laughs> there was no, yeah. no Shopify. Because think about, nothing, yeah, a lot of things were hard back then. Yeah. It's hard, bro. Absolutely. Like, Yahoo sites, bro. You can imagine Yahoo sites. Yahoo. Like, it's not going to be, like, user-friendly, yeah. mobile-friendly. Yeah. Like, we had to do HTML, coding. It was like MySpace. Remember MySpace? Wow. Like, we had to do, <laughs> like, HTML, stuff like that. So, you know, he went and he figured it out. 
and he did what he what I know that he was capable of. Yeah. Right. What I knew that he could do. Get it off the ground. Just start. Because you need to know this process. Right. It's cool to outsource everything, but one thing I like to say is like you need to you need to know enough so you don't get screwed over. Mm. Right. So he yeah. could he could have went and he could have hired some guy to build a funnel for eight hundred dollars. Yeah. Right. And then he would have wasted 800 bucks. Yep. But really, we didn't need all of that. We, I need you to understand what is the landing page. Yeah. As a business owner, you need to know this stuff. Yep. You need to know what an opt-in yeah. is, right? I said, we need a landing page. I need you to put your information on there. Talk about what you're going to offer, your packages, and the name, email, phone number, and date of event. Yeah. You can do that. Yeah. It'll take you 30 minutes or so, but you can figure it out. And he went, he did that, and boom, now we're off to the races. Now we're just tweaking and, and scaling him up. That's awesome.